And back here at home, an eye-opening report about a growing problem in the skies over America, drones putting other aircraft at risk. The FAA is tallying the close encounters that threaten collisions in the sky. ABC's Clayton Sandell digs into the report for us tonight. The reports are now soaring. We just had a something fly over us. So I don't know if it was a drone or a balloon. Drones flying too high and dangerously close to airports and aircraft. If they hit in the exact wrong part of an airplane, say down an engine or maybe coming in through the cockpit where the pilots are, it could be catastrophic. New FAA numbers show that since June, pilots reported 25 near collisions. Another one just days ago on a JetBlue flight full of passengers. About two miles out on the final, maybe around four to 300 feet. Looks like one of those uh, unmanned drones was flying right off the final. The report even says last July a drone got close, only 50 feet away from a marine support helicopter that's part of the presidential fleet. The FAA is under pressure to come up with new rules governing drones as prices have dropped and popularity has taken off. Photographers use them to get never before seen shots. Amazon wants drone deliveries. And in this simulation, researchers are testing how a drone might help police and firefighters get a safer view at a crash site leaking hazardous materials. We want to take advantage of the technology, but it's got to be safe. The use of drones is growing faster than the rules needed to regulate them. But the FAA says they are trying to catch up. The agency hopes to propose those new rules by the end of the year.